we're going to look at the highest common factor. We're going to do it through an example. If we're asked to find the highest common factor of 28 and 20, then remember, like we did when we looked at um, the lowest common multiple, when we're talking about a common factor of 28 and 20, we're talking about a factor that 28 and 20 have in common. In other words, a factor that, are, that is a factor of 28 and is also a factor of 20. And of course, the highest means we're just going to look for the biggest of those. So in order to do that, we need to find the factors of 28 and the factors of 20, and then we're going to look for which ones they have in common. So let's start by looking for the factors of 28. One is a factor and its pair partner is 28. Then we go to two, it's a factor and its partner is 14. We go to three, that isn't a factor. So we go to four, is a factor and its partner is seven. We go to five, that isn't a factor. We go to six, that isn't a factor. And we go to seven, that is a factor, but it's a factor we've already got, so we know we can stop at that point, and then we can just quickly put all our factors in order, and then we're going to write them up here. Now what we need to do is look and find the factors of 20. So same process. We're going to look at one. Is it a factor? Of course it is. One is always a factor of all numbers, and its partner factor is 20, because 1 times 20 is 20. 2 is a factor of 20, because 2 divides into 20 with no remainder. And its partner is 10, because 2 times 10 makes 20. 3 isn't a factor. 4 is a factor, and its partner is 5, because 4 times 5 is 20. Then 5, that is a factor, but it's a factor we've already got, so we can stop there. And then we're just going to quickly put all our factors nicely in order. And then we're going to pop them in over here. Now we're in a place where we can then start looking for the highest common factor. Remember, common, if we're talking about common factors of 28 and 20, we're talking about which factors of 28 are also factors of 20. So there are your common factors. But we don't just want the common factors, we want the highest of them. We want the biggest of them, and that will be 4. So the highest common factor of 28 and 20 is 4. What does this mean? It means the biggest whole number that can divide into 28 and also into 20 with no remainder is 4. 4 is the biggest number that can divide into both 28 and 20 with no remainder.